What's up guys, my name is Zensha and welcome to part three of the item shop unveiling. In this video, we'll quickly go over scaling and how items can affect your character's skills. Most skills and abilities have what's called a ratio. A ratio is how much of a particular stat affects that skill's damage output, healing output, or whatever it does. This is pretty vague, so let me give you some concrete examples. Skippert has moves that scale with attack damage. Slash the Swamp, Strength of the Exile, and Leap Slash all gain extra damage based on the amount of attack damage Skippert has. So, buying attack damage items on Skippert not only makes your basic attacks hit harder, it also makes your abilities hit harder. Furthermore, his heal scales with spell power. By buying spell power items, his heal will be more effective and heal for a larger amount. But the amount gained from items is not always one to one. That's why it's called a ratio. For instance, if Slash the Swamp has a 30% ratio, then it deals extra damage equal to 30% of your attack damage. I know this may sound confusing, the specific numbers here are more important for the players who want to really hone in on builds and itemize their characters the most efficient way possible. For those who simply want to get in and fight and get stronger, the recommended item section is a good place to start. I've laid out a list in a forum post describing how all of our contestants' abilities scale. Check that out to level up your knowledge and figure out how to best play your contestant. In the future, we'll have tooltips in the game so you can easily know which items will be best for your chosen contestant. Thanks for watching our video series on the item shop. Dig into it and I think you'll find that it really opens up gameplay to a whole new level. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you equipped and in battle on the Veil of Redemption.